the statistics on the basket. Uh, I think you've got something to share with us, right? Yes, uh, good afternoon everyone, Elarka Manaka. Uh, well, yes, it's uh, not something which we do regularly. <laughs> right. Uh, it's actually, I'm here uh, to create a little awareness. Uh, Pan India this topic, uh, which is a survey which is conducted by Ariel Nielsen Survey. Poetry is a big topic. It's, it's, I think it's been there for decades, this uh, question, is laundry only a women's job? Right. And I think it's high time that men could also be a part of it. Right. Well, it's interesting that this is something that's been going on sort of behind the scenes. It's not something that we really think about, but uh, if I'm going to ask you, is this something that you would have consciously thought about until the topic came up? Uh, definitely. Uh, it's, it's always been in, I think, in every woman's uh, head. Not even women, every girl who's growing up. It's a fear. Uh, and I think when this uh, particular event came to me, I was, I was really happy. And I think it's a privilege being here to talk about this topic. Uh, it's a traditional uh, belief or a traditional thing which uh, we follow that men are supposed to be the uh, traders who earns for the family and women are supposed to uh, take care of the family and household or laundry or whatever. But now the, I, I feel the time has changed. Uh, women are also becoming a, uh, both men and women are working. Women are also contributing to the economy of the family. But they are not getting the uh, what to say, they have, uh, working women, uh, they have to do two jobs. One, working outside uh, for the family, contributing to the family. Second thing is working, taking care of the kids, uh, taking care of the husband, then doing the laundry, all the chores. It, amongst all the works they do, they have one extra work of cleaning the house and the laundry. So, other one day, uh, the working women in their advantage, relax, advantage. And then I have a, a beautiful in the event Varambodana I used I was looking back into my childhood and uh, I have this beautiful images, visuals of my dad. He used to uh, help my mom actually on Sundays, yeah, only on Sundays. <laughs> when he had like break, uh, he used to help my mother uh, helping with the laundry and it's still a step in the right direction, right? Yeah, Not exactly. Bad. So I think uh, that's one uh, beautiful image I have. Uh, about my father helping my mother. He used to like really yell at us uh, cleaning the uniform and all. Are you really going to school or somewhere? So much of dirt. And uh, when it comes to Ariel, I have a lot of childhood memories with it because Ariel always brings that image of white. Oh. Yeah, school uniforms and white color. So, uh, but I think always men, yeah, they do help women, but all on the easier jobs like cooking, taking care of kids, yeah. taking them out. You know, but I don't think much men are into uh, cleaning and uh, laundry. They always feel it's women's job. Right. Well, uh, as Amala has been saying, so far, I mean, it's been a job of uh, the women of the household. So I'm also going to bring my little basket to join you yeah, just so that uh, we're both on the same team. And as you can see, as the stats reveal, I've got my own little one over here, which is that more than two-thirds of Indian women feel that there does exist an inequality in the home between men and women. I think Amala, yours is one of those rare households where your dad actually managed to chip in. But no, uh, but I have my brother. <laughs> That's the sad part. He is uh, like three years elder to me, but he still needs my mother for everything from uh, uh, ironing his clothes. He's, we have a help at home still. He's not very comfortable with her, but he wants mom to be there uh, taking care of ironing, uh, picking up his clothes, cleaning, his, arranging his wardrobe. Right. Just like I, I get into fight with him, you know, always like, uh, I'm too ashamed. Why do you, I mean, he's going to kill me for this, but yeah. <laughs> Sadly, uh, I think, uh, and my, my dad and said to him, I always tell my dad, I okay. Like, I think, uh, more than helping the women, uh, what I want to tell all the men around is, your son is uh, watching you and he is growing. You yeah. know, always for kids, father, parents are their inspiration. Yeah. So in future, Lander, your daughter is also going to get married to a family and will you be able to see her, you know, taking care of the entire family, cleaning the laundry and doing all the work. So I think it's about conditioning your kids. One more yeah. thing is that you are conditioning your kids. Your son, your daughter, your son especially is uh, seeing that, he's learning from you. So future when he gets married to, uh, in future when he gets married, he is definitely going to help his wife and he's not going to think it's a woman's job, it's my Absolutely. wife's job. Yeah, so it, it works in both ways. Right, well, uh, you've been talking about your parents, but I'm sure everybody here also wants to know a little bit about your own household. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I'm tempted to ask, tell us a bit about your husband, does he chip in? I mean, both of you are working, both of you are super busy. What is that equation like? I think I am, uh, I feel I'm the most luckiest girl to have Vijay in my life. That mm -hmm. man, he is amazing, he's wonderful. Like, I don't expect to do I expect to do it. He's really amazing because now and then, they went to I was discussing this with Vijay, and he's like, "Amu, niyam laundry, um, samadhi mein liye. Why are you even?" <laughs> it was like that. So he is uh, at home. We have help, and uh, we have people to take care. But when we go abroad, he really helps uh, packing. He's the one who will be packing. Wow, okay. He's the one who will be folding clothes, and he is ready to iron clothes for me. He doesn't really. Uh, think okay, it's your job or you know, I think I have the privilege of being a kid always, <laughs> got married early So that privilege is there still he really helps uh, in a matter of even uh, when it comes to his co-sister, his sister, his mother He really helps uh, you know all of them uh, in laundry He really picks up the clothes from the room and he goes and keep it in the laundry room or machine He's ready to do that. He doesn't feel ashamed, ashamed in doing that or right. doing that I think I see him in a completely different light now and maybe he should have been part of the event telling all the guys out there, guys, you can do it, follow my lead. So it's not that uh, we are trying to say that um, uh, men have to do it. At least they should show a support, encouragement. That all women expect, I think. Even, you know, my co-sister, I see her, even though we have help at home, I see her running around the kids and all that. And she's, I always tell her, why can't you be smiling? Just just be relaxed, you know, she's like, I have so much work, I have so much work. So uh, women, they're always stressed and I think the husbands really need to tell them to, you know, breathe, just be free, chill, it's okay, we are there to support. That's all a women need, at least, I think. Yeah, a little bit of support from their husbands, husband, which exactly. apparently you have a lot of, so I guess you're I a lucky 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 as well. <laughs> so I'm sure. Uh, we're so excited you could be here with us today and share your own personal experiences. Of course, Ariel has been a big part of all of our lives. Um, so as we wind things up and before we chat with everybody, is there sort of a message that you want to share with everyone here? I think I've spoken <laughs> a lot. And I think the main thing is that uh, uh, today's kids are tomorrow's generation. So, if you are training your train it's like conditioning your uh, kids. So, you that that's what they are going to do to their wife and their family. So, show that support to your wife, you know, even in, in case that you are really busy and you know, just uh, encourage them, you know. Uh, let them know that we are seeing your effort and uh, be a part of their hard work and uh, you know just make sure just tell them that we love you thanks to doing all this thanks to taking care of my family and i think that's all that uh, they expect end of the day and i think they really deserve it uh, for that so in order personal experience my mom and all uh, i know uh, how much uh, compliments but uh, i don't think our parents that generation they don't have that habit of complimenting each other so i think we should develop that at least all right well a lot of interesting insights into amala's life and i think we're all working towards even happier households but uh, i'm going to have all of you think about this a little bit as we bring something special onto the stage and uh, we're going to leave you all with a bit of a question and something to think about so we'll have amala do the honors as a wife, as a sister. So when we see our mother doing a lot of work like this, you know, we, we all are grown up, grown up seeing that way. Upon the we will have a helping hand to her. So that is why we don't have a wife. Wife is okay. When she is a wife, when a woman becomes a wife, when a girl becomes a wife, it's her job. That is, I, I personally feel that. There are also men actually uh, because I was discussing this topic with one of my friends and he was telling me that in love marriage it's different. 
in love marriages, uh, it seems men are uh, doing the laundry and men tend to help the women more. It, w it was actually interesting to, uh, yeah, yeah. Very easy, exactly. With washing machines and uh, aerial and all that, it becomes really easy. But still, I think it's a job <laughs> for women. I think as Amala said, uh, men usually do things like uh, babysitting the kids once in a while when the wife and has cooking, to do something. Here and cutting the vegetables, all the right. easy part. So this yeah. can actually be one of the jobs that they take up because with aerial, it's technically and washing machines, it's a very, very easy job exactly. to do, right? Exactly. And I think in foreign countries and all... So you're laughing, sir. No, if it's easy, then it's not much to come later. Exactly. So we're saying that uh, the mindset needs to change a little bit. So I hope that you'll go home today and help your wife. We're going to have to give her a call and find out about that. You're laughing. So we have to find out the secret behind that. <laughs> I hope you're going to be helping her out a little bit more. Uh, see, it's not about it's becoming easy. It's definitely easy, but still it's a job to do. Yeah. Somebody has to collect it and put it in the machine and then uh, you know make sure it shines when you wear it. There is no crease, there is no, not even one point of dirt. So it's a job which they have to spend their time and energy. Uh, we always uh, think about the product. Because over even Pandamoda and the event is a suit down. So I thought Ariel is about white and green, and they have a lot of green and always in them. So I thought I'll prefer something with white and green. In the thought to everyone, make myself suit to it. Okay, ma'am. In the thought, everyone, then you can manage the idea. No, actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Not even my mother, all the women across the world. Uh, and at times we get into, even in schools and colleges, we get into such debates. And uh, uh, recently I saw uh, this aerial conducting this event in uh, Bombay with Shubha Shetty. Bombay is a very survey, a very topic of poetry, a very awareness. Madri. So I was actually very uh, happy and privileged when they came to me asking me to do this.